um, this is not in production yet i'm finding all sorts of little bugs as well so please do let me know if you see any so for example in the ecg game this thing the menu will work on desktop but on a mobile phone it does not work I'm not sure what's up because it does work in any other tool not sure what the difference there is something is on because it would not uh, give any error messages because that's not a an actual error and uh, it was quite embarrassing because uh, someone actually um, found it uh, found it out found out that that button doesn't work I'm not sure why they you know they thought that button was uh, important but uh, I mean I guess it is everything is important um, anyway whatever uh, right just let's jump into it so first thing first we have this um, semi blog or whatever you call it probably not long enough for a blog but this was uh, generated over several hours uh, prompting uh, gpt4 the image which is not bad was uh, generated with deadly 3 and this is on um, just some uh, thoughts on the uh, impedance and the EEG and the fact and the unknown reason behind it's even being called impedance to begin with because it's not just resistance it's not even resistance it's an approximation of resistance so should be called probably something else uh, this one obviously will need um, so it's already on the page there is a link on the front page um, this uh, tools and things uh, eventually we want to turn everything in here into an application a web application um, but remember that the project is called chaos for a good reason um now we need this bit from signal each equality it's obviously not taking it from cardio quest because that thing doesn't work on a mobile so there might be is something wrong with that code um probably will not take it from the main page as well yeah let's take it from not a new page that we haven't been testing for a while of course this will not work because it's a flask application and it will work from here how narrow this page has to be it just it double check this tool now this page is working fine I assume something with the CSS anyway if anyone knows how to fix this please do let me know okay image compress wavelet let's take it from image compress wavelet uh, templates html it's the html of the blog 
So in the body, we need this header, including the JavaScript. And that's that. And we need something in there. It should have looked like that. Right, we also need to apply the style. Uh, there are essentially two uh, styles, CSS uh, pages being applied. Ew, no, 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 no. Okay, this is really stuffed up. The text and everything. Because the text would be in the wrong color. Uh, whoops. Oh. Can I comment? Oh. It's the problem with CSS is that if you already have a comments and nothing will work well actually we don't need this uh, additional css right just use the the image could be minimized This image could be auto scale or something. Okay, let's bring it back. And okay, not this one. In the same folder, image. Yeah, can get rid of that. Can get rid of this. Right. This should be actually the minimum size of it. It's kind of obvious that. I mean, does it work with percentages? A three hundred pixel. Or the more like six hundred, five hundred. So what if I make max eighty mean fifty percent rid of that? What if I don't? Right, that's good enough, and we have the oops. That's working okay. Right. I'm done with this. Yeah, we have the disclaimer. We can close that. We have the link to it. It's kind of separate issue. But we can deploy everything. Okay, this fingers fingers crossed. Um everything will disappear for a second.
by the way, we now do the redirect from www, which no one uses, but just in case uh, there could be some older links uh, that have it. Right, this is coming uh, from the right. So this is the new blog. Check it out. Why not? We might be running ads on it later. Just we test some stuff. From memory, there should be ads on here, but now they are delayed by 10, 10 20 seconds or so. Yeah. So once you use the tool for more than I think 10 seconds, you will get an ad. Sorry for that. Have to uh, get reimbursed <laughs> for the electricity cost. I think the same thing for this tool. Yeah, the ads are now, they will be delayed, so they will appear a bit later. I don't know if it's better or worse. Let me know what you think. And the main, still working on this one. Whatever changes we made. Let's check the button again. Yeah, this button is funny. It works in the regular page, but doesn't uh, on the mobile. And this one. Yeah, this one works okay, so I don't know what's up. Suspects uh, did check the CSS or no issues with it, so I don't know actually what that might be. Weird. So we can close that. Yeah, we can close this. Right, let's get into our Flask application. Yeah, close all for a sec. Minimize this. Okay. So this is our EEG Spectrum 60 channel. It's IEG. Then we do the denoise, it should be kind of similar, a similar function. Sure why I'm getting Federation University advertisement. No, it's good that I get uh, any university is more than welcome. More than happy to place ads on the site as well if anyone's interested. I mean, this ad is targeted at me, essentially, so I'm not sure why I'm even seeing it. Uh, right, let's start a new GPT. So we're using 4 default version. We're not using uh, advanced data analysis because it's executing stuff on the, on the OpenAI server. We don't want that. Okay, we have the spectrum, we have this info. That code already uh, going. Don't want to deploy yet. Uh, that's the actual application application let's run it let's see what we get right we're not getting any errors here are we getting any there yes event listener didn't work egjs and let's just start popping in stuff and blah 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 that's okay app it's okay and index html now we're having this error in eg line 64 
Four. Event listener input. I don't think we even have sixty four or eighteen. It doesn't have any properties, so can you help us with the it appears that this group allowed to find the element. There's no file scroller. Where is my file scroller? In HTML, we are missing a file scroller. So I will also need this style. Was this HTML? Pretty sure I ask it. What did I do? I ask it, asked it already multiple times. To edit controls, select channel. Yeah, let's pop it there at the bottom. Right now we have the fast scroll and we have the data. We have the raw EG straight away. We have some. Uh, a values plus it's the mobile version yeah mobile version doesn't fit the whole screen if you have any ideas as to how to make it better please do let me know but currently we'll just be testing on the um, and we want to load something as soon as the page loads this doesn't work Okay, the page scroll is not actually scrolling the file. Sorry, it should be file scroll. Yeah, file scroll. Let's, let's see, file scroller. So hopefully soon it will appear on the website. If you haven't checked it out already, please do so. Any feedback is more than Welcome. Play pause. This doesn't even look like a button. Okay. First of all, should we get rid of all this? Um, um, era. Um, it's called monitoring. Um, debugging stuff. We can get rid of some print statements or at least comment them out. Yeah, definitely can comment that out. So let's do this again here. Right. That should be. And then JavaScript should have some. A uh, what's called? Got play button now. Console log that one. Yeah, when we have the one can. Comment this out. So the console should be nice and clear. Control F five to G Ooh. still getting an error. A sixty nine in JavaScript. Play speed input. Speed input is missing, isn't it? Um, copy this. Wait, what did it say about JavaScript in the file scroller? We have file scroll was and then was unintentional is not needed. 
uh, what fetch data right there. Ah, okay. No, I do need it. Change function. Yeah, in the HTML. Should have the speed. Play button. Yeah, should be somewhere next to play button. Play playback speed. Still not playing anything. At least I'm not getting any errors. Get 200 response from the server, which is good. Obviously, this will need some a reshuffling. How about we do it straight away? Um, let's go into these are prompts. Normally we we'll call it prompt text file, but uh, filter order might be on Earth. Is happening there. Scroll through the file. A couple of things. A more prompts. So let's go for the file. Does not work. It it's not updating the charts. That's right. Um, let's at some at some later stage we should start uh, using copilot more GPT. So yeah, the idea is that yeah, it's pretty good at uh, generating template that actually works. Send HTML. Yeah, I might uh, wait. Okay, so there's a bunch of things that we need to do there. Should we do them now? Or sort the frequency spectrum. It's not displaying properly. Okay, frequency spectrum. It's not working properly. It should be showing the frequency bands. Um, the frequency spectrum just should have frequency as the x axis, which it does. It's going all the way to 200. Which makes kind of sense. It should be 250. Ah, what about linear log? Right, that actually works. I should have a whole spectrum selector. Yeah, this is a bit weird. The power numbers are extremely large. A window size seem to work okay. We also should write what is working. Channel selection. Well, first effect. Right, the trending working pretty well. It's uh, centering the signal around zero. And right log linear. 
All right, it's actually working pretty well. I get yeah the filter order was too high before, so it's essentially filtering everything out. When you go log scale, yeah the filter is a bit odd. Ah, that's the whole spectrum. So that's the whole spectrum. That's more a larger window. That's actually a seizure there. Um, so yeah the scroll scroll doesn't work I have to fix that but essentially the yeah the purple line there is the whole spectrum yeah we have to limit this at um, lower frequency going up to like 50 50 hertz or so because that's most of a uh, EG stuff a linear log works okay yeah so when you go in linear you should limit it um, the frequency axis the x-axis to go up to 50 Hertz it should be better in log well same thing we can limit it at about uh, 100 or so so we see more difference in there and then um, the window size is limiting us at uh, 60 seconds top so we should be still able to scroll through the file right so the problem before was that the filter order was too high this specific filter just the way it works A play button, yeah, play button doesn't work as well. It's kind of obvious because scrolling doesn't work. And uh, make sure frequency scale is changing. It's changing the x axis. No, the x axis shouldn't be changing. It should be time. Obviously, currently it's um, data points. A uh, number of data points. I think. No, it could be actually time. Because yeah, that that's a very long uh, file, and we're skipping in the file to to this particular second that has yeah, that's right, that's the beginning of it. So this is seconds actually. It's just a very long um, a long data file. So we have uh, four hundred. It's actually three ninety nine, whatever point nine nine, whatever doesn't matter. Uh, four hundred should be good enough for our. Uh, purposes purposes and then this is the start time just because that's where the first seizure starts in that file I think that file has more seizures in it so we can um, now I don't want to overload the server so it's only displaying whatever up to 60 um, seconds of data but then you should be able to a scroll through whatever currently being loaded such a window size yeah this is sending something let me clear the terminal yeah it's sending stuff in but it's not it's taking channel one you can change uh, channels this is that same seizure on another channel yeah we have 16 of them so actually we need to uh, add you can just add all of them add all the other channels oh come on don't do it line by line <laughs> uh, how it surely uh ChatGPT can do a better a better work 
Okay, let's see. I don't want to do it manually. Right, that's right. That's how you do it. Uh, GitHub Copilot is doing things uh, line by line. This is how it's done. It's actually did all of them. Okay, save this. We should have fresh. Yep, we have because the first eight channels. Yeah, there are 16 channels, including zero. So the first eight are on the left side of the head and the um, second um, eight are on the right. Now this filter order in our HTML filter order, this default value should be around two for it to uh, work uh, better. A whole spectrum. Well, the whole spectrum is essentially just the sum of, you know, all parts. I channel eight has this funny, funny business. So this is not published yet. Hopefully, we're publishing it today. The whole data viewer is available already. In production yeah this needs improvement it actually should not be loading like that it's actually in the C, doing something with the css changing colors and things this is how i wanted it to be to load and yeah that's the channel eight has this funny deep it's a flatlining a clipping signal i don't know if it's a a motion artifact or something yeah, it's that red, red, uh, red line there. And this one you can uh, group a uh, line by line, uh, side by side, so left and right separately. Uh, yeah, so it's just a viewer, and uh, this thing would be. Uh, no, it should be called different name. Let's actually add the description to this right so now load channel oh, load channel whatever six linear log log scale all spectrum yes no yeah mo most of it you can see is in the um, a delta and there's a bugger all uh, in uh, other bands but once seizure comes in you should see more of the other bands going through yes yeah, so we saw the elevation in theta so higher frequency So again, this would be two. So let's make it log scale frequency scale option log should be the default value in pam 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 pam. Um, like log default doesn't want to do it. Yeah, GitHub Copilot thing. Is it even? Yeah, it is running. I can see it's uh, doing something, but it's not actually. Um. Yeah, GitHub Copilot. Can you be at least as good as GPT? I mean, we can try the 3.5, I'm sure. 
it will be able to to do it but that's how it's done so not sure why it's uh, not generating anything and now when we reload the page yeah log is default so again if I select linear I hit f5 it will uh, default to log which uh, is uh, better I want this scroller to work so we had a prompt for it I think we already actually edited it uh, before which is just to ignore it Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, let's go back here. So we like fork the the chat. It's not uh, no. I mean, it is present. Let's double check. Pretty sure it's there in the HTML file. Yeah, it is the file scroller what step yeah I want this step to be yeah I probably want this step to be like a hundred let's start with 10 max why okay uh, use it to scroll through the an hour of data is it uh, how much data are we uh, loading and uh, we're loading 100 seconds I mean, it would be good if we could scroll for an hour modify fetch that render function to scroll through the play button Okay, so why don't you actually do this uh, end time? It's a scale. Why? Why is this different? And why are we not taking it from the uh, from the HTML? That's what this get element does. File scroll parse in integer converting this into integer. So we just do it in the file scroller event. A bit confused. So having trouble with this not fitting into the whole uh, window. This is by the way seizure onset. But this is because I can't scroll it, but just add the uh, add stuff up and yes I suspect that the theta increase is because of those uh, higher frequency components the actual uh, spiking during seizure so if it's now at uh, reaching what's the uh, around 600 as you reduce as you have less of the seizure it's going down to like below 200 is it 50 hertz there should not be 50 hertz in this data by the way it should be super clean uh, data because it's recorded straight from the surface of the brain it's an implant um hopefully if all these uh, inputs are actually working to scroll through the data file scroll you will need to make adjustments to both the front and javascript that's okay 
Do regenerate. <laughs> I don't like that response. To integrate the scroll scrolling functionality effectively, you will need to modify both the blah blah the same. A fast scroll, use the value, include additional parameters in API request. Okay, that makes sense. Starting time based on the scroll position. Yeah, that makes a uh, better sense. So fetch data and render. Yeah, calculate a uh, rest cons parameters. We need to add start time. Okay, fetch the data. Set the fetch logic. Get that, uh, okay, whatever. Now back and modify and get that uh, in Python in get that uh, F and time from the request. Okay. We already have window size. Okay, let's pop this in there just so we have it in some sort of order. Skip rows. Calculate the number. Root to do. Do you have it already? Do I need to change the name or keep, uh, can I keep it data? Okay, we're ready. That's the problem. Okay, so, so it's a real long file. This should be the default start time duration, but then do we read? We will end up having the read CSV wise. Bring this is before we can be inefficient, load the entire data once. It slice the memory data based on start time. So what we want to do Yeah, we're having the same problem with this file here because uh, this is not the whole uh, file. Instead of repeatedly reading, read the entire at once at the start of your flask creation store in memory. It is too large. The data set is too large. You need a different strategy, use a database instead of flat like file. Um, yeah, don't want to change the file format, not yet. Yeah, pre processing CSV into smaller chunks, saving chunks, chunk in as a separate file. Um, client side, down sampling, Oof. never heard of, uh, can you give me more info on the first option? Right, so it's uh, suggesting to Insert the whole file into a table and then connect to the SQLite database. 
and insert the data. Okay, it feels like I don't want to do it for now. Just because it's working already. But we loaded a database could be nice for later. We did load hundred seconds of uh, data and only displaying 10 seconds by default, we would like to scroll through the 100 seconds at this stage. A simple modifier front end logic, it should be a simpler, enhance your... Uh, so... Okay, let's leave that, make sure it's still... Uh, ...running. And also select a different channel by default. Yes, 7 has more data in it to begin with. Let's make it 7. Channel number yeah. make null seven default loading the page just doesn't want to do this. Pretty sure even 3.5 can can do this. But GitHub Copilot cannot. So we're just doing this. Let's check. Yep. 7 is default. Yeah, Copilot, Copilot is kind of hopeless. Now, make the scroller work. Fetch and render function. Start time. New parameter. Why keep repeating everything I say? A URL. This should be the same. I'm not sure why you mentioning it to me. And then in Flask, which is the Python script, in get data. Oops. Uh, we extract Yeah, do we need to multiply it by no. My se what? Sampling guide is for Sampling rate is already defined as it's definitely not two fifty, it's four hundred. Right, that's correct, it's king. Um start index and index. Yes, you don't really need the brackets, uh, ChatGPT. And extract segment, but segment is not being used. How do I use segment?
So currently returning response data. So we need to change the response data. Okay, get data. Okay, that's the same FSFS. Segment is dead. EG data. Still want to use the window size. All ah, right, window size was used there. So if I get rid of that. Uh, channel. Yeah, we do have channel already to integer. It's actually not bad. The uh, compile it. The trend if necessary. A response. Response data, we have raw signal, yeah, and here we need a deadline. EG data to list is the same type scatter. Response data. See, start time, it's not changing the plot. Compare. Uh, let's clear this for a sec. Okay, we're getting this big fat error. Uh, clear again, just do click on it once, getting a 500. Control Shift C. Can you explain this error to us? Yeah, this is all oh, get all mixed up. Wait, 